Dorocco, another good start in this ball game. Michael Pineda to go six innings and only use 75 pitches. What did you see from him that you thought made him so efficient today? Another very uh, good, um, almost expected start from Mike. That's that's the way he goes out there and continues to throw the ball for us. Uh, he's efficient. He continually makes good pitches. He finds a way to get through innings. Uh, you know where he, you know the innings he's throwing uh, great and feeling great. He gets through quick. Even the innings that he's not, he finds a way to get through them uh, and uh, and make things happen for us. So he he put us in a really good spot. Um, Gave us six really good innings. You know, we got a tie ball game at that point. We got a very uh, prepared and rested uh, and very good bullpen um, behind him. And uh, he more than, than did his job tonight. He was, he was very good. Rocco, as, uh, with Pineda's continued, just a, a, a strong start to the season from your entire rotation, even after losing Odo. Um, I mean, how important has that depth uh, been to just kind of keep you guys in all of these games as far as the starting rotation goes? Yeah, our, our, we talk about our starting rotation and what they bring to the table. Um, they win games for us. They keep us in games, give us an opportunity to win games. Uh, but on top of all of that, it's, there's just a stability factor that um, I think uh, braces our entire group uh, over the course of a long season. And when you have guys that continually go out there and give you very, uh, not just competitive efforts, but winning type efforts over and over again, um, it gives you just a general confidence that I think permeates throughout our entire group. Rocco, when um, I think you guys have only had three losses this year, and all three of them have been in that extra inning time. I mean, how do you go about kind of getting over that hump? Or is there a worry that when, you know, there's three losses and they're all in the kind of same situation that it becomes like, I don't know, a mental thing to have to get over? Or how do you kind of coach out of that? Yeah, no, I, I think we're uh, going to be just fine. I think when you end up in these um, extra inning type uh, situations, um, you know, it, it takes a big swing. It takes a, a play to be uh, made or not made. Uh, and literally that becomes uh, the difference in the game. Um, the game as we are used to playing it uh, does change and, and we have to uh, adapt to that. That being said, um, you know, there, sometimes there are just a series of, of plays and we've seen a few games where that's played out, not, not in our favor. Um, it comes down to making plays. It comes down to, uh, you never like to say it comes down to chance. It comes down to one team uh, beating another team. Um, but it, you know, it, it, it has come down in those few games for us uh, to plays that uh, may not seem like big plays. We're talking bunts, we're talking choppers, we're talking putting the ball in play, uh, making a play in the field. Um, and that's the difference between a win or a loss. Sometimes it's things that I think we can affect. Sometimes maybe it's not. And we just have to be mentally uh, uh, strong, continue and go out there and do the things that uh, we do well. Um, know what we have to do when we get in those extra inning games and then just uh, pull it together and, and make a play or make something happen in our favor. And, uh, you know, it, it feels, you know, a little almost uh, anticlimactic at times when you're out there and, you know, the game uh, uh, that you played very hard in for a while is, is all of a sudden over on, uh, like I said, not the most climactic type uh, of plays. Um, but that's, that's the name of the game. This is what we uh, do and we have to be ready for. I think we're going to win a bunch of extra inning games this year. Uh, we're going to keep ourselves in ball games, therefore playing close ball games uh, a lot, um, just like we've seen. And I think we're going to find ways to, uh, to win. We have winning players. We have guys that know what they're doing and we'll make it happen.